Right, we've been handed this parallelogram. We've been told three of the angles in terms of X and Y, and we have to work out X and Y. So, first thing to note, there's an X and a Y. That's two variables, which means we need two equations, okay? If there are two unknowns, in this case X and Y, you need at least the same number of equations as unknowns. If there were three things to work out, X, Y, and Z maybe, we'd need three equations, three different equations, okay? If there's only one variable, say X, we'd only need one equation. So, two unknowns means we need two equations. Good. Also, it's a parallelogram, which means we can add information to this diagram, which is essential. Parallelogram means that this line is parallel to this one. Okay, so that one is parallel to that, and this one is parallel to that. Okay, so now the diagram is complete, and now we can solve it. So, because these two lines are parallel, and we have another line crossing these two parallel lines, we can use Z, F, and C angles, okay? And in this case, we're going to use the C angle. Here is our C. It's a backwards letter C, but it's a C angle, okay? And C angles add up to 180. Another way you can think of C angles is as Z angles, okay? If we extend this line here, we've got a Z angle there, and these two angles are the same, so that one is also 2x plus 43, and two angles on a straight line add up to 180. So that's why C angles add up to 180, okay? So we can get a, our first equation out of that. We know that 2x plus 43, that angle, plus that one, plus 4y minus 5x, that adds up to 180, okay? Super, we've got our first equation. How are we gonna get our second equation? Well, again, we're going to use the fact it's a parallelogram, and in parallelograms, opposite angles are the same. So therefore, this angle equals that one. So our second equation is 5x, minus 20 is equal to 2x plus 43. Okay, there we go. We've got our two equations. They're two different equations. One linked these two, the other linked these two, so they're two different equations. We can solve it. And as it turns out in this case, okay, we can work out x directly from this equation because it only contains x, okay? But that's just making life easier for ourselves. Often, in fact, more often than not, probably, when you're doing a question with two variables where you have to generate two equations, both equations will contain an x and a y. This one contains an x and a y, okay? But this one only contains an x. However, had this one contained an x and a y, it wouldn't be a problem because we still have two equations and two unknowns, which means we can solve it. Okay, I hope that's clear. It's just that in this case, it's slightly easier because there's only an x in this one. So we can work out x straight away. Might as well do that. So tipping, subtract two x on both sides and you get three x over here. Add 20 to both sides and you get 63 over there. So therefore x is 63 divided by three. So x is 21 degrees. Okay, good, we've got x. Stick that into this equation, substitution method, and we get y. Okay, but let's rearrange this first, make it a bit neater. Let's take five x over here, <clears throat> excuse me. So that'll be plus five x, and so take the 2x over there, minus 2x, so that's 3x on that side, okay? So that's that dealt with, that dealt with. We subtract 43 from both sides, that becomes 180 minus 43, which is 137. 
Okay, so that's that dealt with and that dealt with, and we're just left with 4y. Okay, so 4y is 3x plus 1, 3, 7. So therefore, 4y is x is 21, 3x is 63, so that's 63 plus 1, 3, 7. So therefore, 4y is 200. Therefore, y is 200 divided by 4 is 50 degrees. There we go. That's how it's done. Y is 50, x is 21. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.